Hello fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I ran and I review. I'm your host, Uncle Tim. Fam, you know what? I said it before, eBay is dead. It's dying. It's on life support. And one of the reasons it's on life support, because there's too many sellers. There's too many sellers and not enough of buyers. Anytime that you look at an item and they're sending you offers right away, and if the offer that they sent you is too damn high, they cancel that one and send you another offer that's lower because they're trying to move this product. This product is not moving. Before, eBay was a reseller's market. Resellers would get on there and sell their stuff and people would just buy. You know, people were just buying. But now it's starting to flip and start becoming a buyer's market. And when it started becoming a buyer's market, it's not good because, see, people get the nickel and dime in you, you know, lowering these prices, whereas you're not getting anything for your product. And see, that's a problem there. People asking me, where am I getting my numbers from for me saying that eBay is dying? You look at YouTube yourself. There are a lot of YouTubers that sell on eBay and they're telling you, I'm not getting um, that algorithm um, viewage that I should, you know, I have to list the item almost every day or list a couple of items every day. Fam, you know what? People don't want to do all that. It's too much of work. And see, a lot of people are moving platform to platform. People are moving from there to whatnot, Amazon. Then you have uh, Facebook marketplace. But see, one of the biggest things that I'm looking at is that when you start looking at whatnot, whatnot has its issues too, because see, people don't want to pay they want to pay just enough. People always want to feel like they got a deal. And again, that's not wrong. But see, if you're from doing this from the seller standpoint, you're looking at it like, I'm not making no money off of this. But again, you got too many sellers. And just because you got the items, and like I said, you go into these stores, and these stores are not looking like they did last year, whereas you had your Rosses, your Ollie's, your DD's discounts, your um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, your Target and Walmarts, man, your Myers, your um, Big Lots. A lot of these stores were killing it. Even Walgreens, they were killing it with like sales. There were all kind of sales on your Marvel Legends, your DC Multiverse, a lot of the uh, alternate figures, the Turtles, the Masters of the Universe. Now you don't really see any of this stuff. And if you do see sales on stuff, no product is on the shelf that you need. You heard what I said. I'm not saying that there's not product on the shelf. It's not something that you need. It's not something that you want. And see, this is where we fall with this, man. You know, you go into the store, Target and Walmart, because I was there this weekend. Two Targets, two Walmarts, no Marvel Legends at all. Those pegs were empty. And like I said, I seen some G.I. Joe's, but at $25, man, I'm like, damn, we could have a sale. Even if they were like $19.99, I would have felt better. But $25 a piece, dude, three of them, that's $75. And like I said, it's not a fact of being broke. It's a fact of thinking about this with this hyperinflation, this economy being the way it is, the job market being the way it is. Um, everything has risen and you sitting here thinking to yourself, dude, this shit is a luxury. And this is what I'm saying. And see, this is what hurt a lot of people. As you look at video games and, you know, you got so many people out here with these buy lists and everything else. A lot of people didn't even look at it. People are turning into emulation. They're looking at emulation because it's easier. It's cheaper. And plus, it doesn't take up a lot of damn space. You know, <laughs> it just take up space on whatever you using it on, man. You know, that's the thing. This is where people falling short at. This is where people are not understanding. When your stuff is priced too high, you start automatically kicking people out of that market. People start walking away saying that, damn, this is a little too high for me. You know, man, you know, I was talking about the Kickstarter for um, DC Multiverses. Oh, no, that was Spawn. Those three Spawn. And I'm like, dude, doing way too much. You sell these figures already. Just box them up and sell them. Everything is a money grab with these companies, man. And like I say, after a while, you start getting mad. Then you're dealing with eBay with their issues. You know, you got issues with sellers not sending you the product. You got issues with sellers um, lying, saying that stuff works, and you get it, and it don't work. 
you got sellers who you can't return the stuff, even though they have fought with it. Dude, I was shipped a Nintendo Wii inside of a box, inside of like one of those um, USPS bags. I'm not talking about the bubble bag. I'm just talking about a bag with USPS in it. And it was sat in a box, in a bigger box. Shit, I got the damn thing and it didn't work. It said, um, unable to read the disc. The discs are not real. And the guy said, put a real disc in. I said, all of these discs are real. The machine is not working. Dude, I sent this damn thing back with the label that they gave me to send it back. They told me the item, he didn't get the item. He ended up keeping my money and getting the damn item. See, these are the problems that I talk about. People have buyer's remorse all of a sudden and want to send the item back. This is not how this works. You have to think about this stuff before you do that because I'm charged fees for this shit. Back in the day, I used to sell on eBay for a while. You know, I used to sell some of the stuff that I had, you know, to get other stuff. And I know you say, hey, that's a reseller. Huh? Yes, it is. I used to sell some of the old stuff that I had, some of my old McFarlane figures like the Matrix stuff and, you know, some of his old Spawn stuff. And I would get new stuff. You know, I was buying, you know, shoes or cologne. I was trading, selling video games and all of that. You know, Transformers to get different stuff, man. And see, one of the biggest things that I talk about is a lot of these things are so oversaturated. You see, like one commenter said, I could see paying upwards for vintage figures because it makes sense. They do not create these anymore. So you have these and... This is a whole issue right here. This is a whole nother thing. So you got this. Now you're thinking to yourself, okay, I got this. Now I got to do all this. And I got to do some extra stuff on top of that. So we're not thinking about a lot of this stuff, man. We're sitting here trying to paint a picture, trying to look at it from a different standpoint, man. You know what? See, the thing is, again, when people say something is dead, People think it boasts to not function anymore. It's still functioning, but it's barely functioning. You know, eBay is doing surveys to see what's going on, just like YouTube is doing. YouTube is doing a lot of surveys because a lot of people are not watching like they used to watch. Those are the issues. Yes, there's issues happening all out here that people didn't know about, that people think that, you know, once you do this, you know, you selling on eBay, that's it, man. Oh man, I'm going to buy storage units. Uh, uh, I'm going to just go to garage sales. I'm going to quit my job, bro. That ain't a good idea. I'm going to tell you just like that. There are so many holes in these plans that people make and they try to make it seem like these are good ideas. A lot of these are horrible ideas. When you're sitting here trying to figure out what the hell is going on, uh, you found out what's going on. This situation right here, man, like I said, if eBay really wanted to sell the merchandise it has, you know what I'm talking about, far as sellers and things like that, think about it. You got Cyborg Superman. Say somebody selling him for 80 bucks. Then you get somebody else selling them for 80 bucks. Because nobody want to be too low. Then you get somebody selling them for 75. Then you're thinking. Then you get somebody selling them for 60. Now you think, now you're getting somebody selling them for 50 or 40. Then you get somebody selling them for 30. But see, the thing is, you get hit. It's not like you said, well, 30 is a good deal, Unc, because, you know, the figure is basically $22.99. But yeah, $30, then they're charging you 20 for shipping, dude, because people, they're finding a way to charge your ass. Dude, I had somebody, it was a Captain America Winter Soldier shoe on eBay for 50 bucks and they wanted $50 for shipping. You done lost your damn man. So I'm paying a hundred dollars for shipping and the actual product. Then I got to pay taxes. I'm like, damn, I'm like, you telling me this item costs $50 to ship and other people offering free shipping. See, this is the problem that we face here. There are too many people doing too many different damn things. There are people who got horrible listings, whereas they take pictures of the item on the shelf. You get what I mean? There are YouTubers out here who are selling shit from the thrift stores 
at the thrift store. You heard what I said. They selling stuff from the Goodwill bins at the Goodwill bins. Without even buying the shit first. Dude, the shit is getting crazy out here. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, this is what I look at when I look at YouTube. I look at what everybody's doing. When I look at places like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Walmart, Target, and I say there's no deals out here, bro. These deals don't look as good as they did last year. And I'm going to say it again. They don't. The figures don't look as good as they did last year. The Transformers don't look as good as they did last year. Hell, the Marvel Legends, you remember the box set of the Marvel Legends, the VHS tape? Man, them damn things were looking amazing. We don't got those. We don't got too much of anything. The Joes, man, you know, I was able to get a couple of scrap irons, man. Man, that stuff done disappeared. It done dried up. The grunts gone, all of that stuff. The uh, Kimuras, all of that. See, what's happening is I hear a lot of people telling me, Unc, you letting everybody know. You letting all these resellers know where to get the stuff, and you're part of the problem. No, I keep telling you over and over again. The community is full of resellers, bro. A lot of people who collect right now, they buy two figures and sell one. Dude, that's reselling. Reselling 101. It's what it is. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is what I'm getting at. See, you can't hide where the stuff is at because they already know, because they already know because they part of the damn community. Look at the Hot Wheel community. Look at that one. Dude, that's a hot ass mess. Look at how they got that on lock. Look at the resellers and look at how they got that shit on lock. They talk to the store managers. The store managers bring the cases out and say, hey, you put this stuff up. You can take and buy as much as you want as long as you put these cases up. Guess what these people are doing? They putting these cases up and getting as much you know, stuff as they want to buy. And see, this is the problem. There are too many resellers killing eBay. It's like overload. It's too many. It's like you got one hole here and you got so many people trying to, you know, trying to get, you know, their, you know, product in there, you know, into the mail slot. Dude, bro, it ain't working like that because it's too much. And like I said, the other problem is, getting the people to pay for the shit that they bought off of eBay. Now, see, that's what you all are missing. See, a lot of people thinking eBay is doing it up. eBay have changed so many rules that, you know, at one point we had PayPal, and PayPal was really helping everybody. PayPal had it where they took their payment out. Then, see, I don't know if, you know, eBay has started doing their fees where they take the fees out when the items sell, which that is a good-ass idea. It stops that big ass invoice situation that they used to have a while back. Whereas you have to pay at the end of the month what your invoice was. And I said, damn, you know, a lot of these people, you got to be careful because this is what eBay had stopped because a lot of people were selling all this shit. Then they get the money. Then they just leave because you should have took it out right when everything was happening. See, this is a whole bunch of hooey, man. I don't know if they changed it. But when I tried to sell on eBay recently, man, there were so many hoops to jump through. And when I was trying to get my money, it took forever to get my money. And it said, it's going to take like a month for you to get your money. I'm like, a month? What the fuck? So I was like, okay. And they were like, uh, what was your selling experience like? I said, this was horrible. I said, the, the person get their money. I mean, they get their product right away once I ship it. I don't get my money till later. We ain't doing that. Uh-uh. I had a situation with a credit card I had. Um, whereas the credit card itself, you know, um, I was trying to sign, you know, my account up with my um, bank account, whereas I can make payments. No, they wanted automatic access to my account. And I'm like, oh, hell no. We do not do that. We do not do that. They wanted my user ID. They wanted this. They wanted that. To be able to go into my account and get, no, we not doing that. I'm not giving you access to my fucking account. What are you thinking? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Because, see, you give somebody access, see, people do dumb shit. Companies will take and take. Remember back in the day when they used to garnish your check? I knew a lot of people where they garnished their check. Back in the day, 
you know, when these companies come and garnish your check, they will garnish 100% of your check. And they made it illegal for them to do that because they said, if you take the whole check, how this fucker going to get to work? How is he going to pay your money back? See, then they had them payday loans. Where they were ripping people off. Dude, they were ripping people off. They had them paying them their 100% back. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, say for instance, you done borrowed a hundred damn dollars, right? They got your ass paying two hundred back. Uh uh, hell no, it don't work like that. You can't do that. Shit, but see, that's that predatory lending and all that shit. You got to think about all this stuff, man. You got to read between the lines with these companies, man. I know I go all over the place, but I'm gonna tell you, I go right back to center, man, and I'm gonna tell you again. If you look at all this, you start realizing what's really happening. These companies are taking advantage of us because we don't know no better. We're thinking that we have um, a better situation to do stuff. And we do. But you know what? We're not thinking. We're not thinking the way we should. We're sitting here trying to do a lot of stuff. And we're not getting the results we want. But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.